you've been asked to download a Vimeo file here, use it, and you're using Internet Explorer. So, so it just so happens that this video, um, now we have another video here that uh, on the YouTube channel that talks about using a password for a Vimeo file, but since we're being prompted, let's go ahead and enter it now. So you're just going to enter in the password that you've been given and select access. Now the video just appears on your screen. Now remember that private, meaning that it has that password on it. That means that this video can't really be searched for on the internet. You know, Google, things like that doesn't really register there. This is a very private video. And then of course the password adds a little more privacy to it. And then you just click on the download button. Now when you click on the download button, you're going to be presented with two options. Download an HD or SD. So it's suggested you use HD because it's a little more quality, 1280 by 720. The file's twice as big. So we're just going to click on HD there for a minute. Now in an Internet Explorer browser, it's going to ask you what do you want to do with this file. And we're going to hit Save. Now we can click on that little arrow right there and say Save As if we want to put it in a specific directory. Or we can just hit Save and it's going to save it to the default download directory. So let's do that because most people will just hit save naturally. Remember you can always hit save as and direct it to wherever you want to save it. See, it allows you to direct it anywhere you want. Of course, it's downloading it by the way into this downloads directory. But let's go ahead and hit save. And then that's all we have to do. Notice here that it tells you the progress of the file being downloaded, how much more time is remaining. And then here we can see the green on the screen there. It's showing, indicating how much of the download has been going. We can also hit here on view downloads and notice here the percentage, etc. In addition, now let's say that you go to another window and oh no, you don't have the download anymore, but you notice that it's still downloading. One thing that will happen once the download is happen is completed, excuse me, once the download's completed, it's going to appear and say downloads completed. Or you can always go to your tool section and go back down to downloads again. And then here you will see it. And if you want to open it, for example, this one was downloaded from Dropbox, we can just say open or open with and we're good to go.